Ciao, this is Lazza, and you're now watching the Growing Up Italian podcast. Let's go! Mike check, Mike check. Ah, va fangulo. Yeah. Yeah, va fangulo, bravo. Yo, um, we're rolling? We're rolling. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Before I started this, uh, when I woke up this morning, I'm like, I got to put on my best outfit. My best fit because I'm interviewing you. <laughs> I know you, you know. This is your best? <laughs> I mean, it's my best. How, how does it rank with you? If you had to rate it's my it's fit, cool, one cool, at a time. Cool. It's what like would you change like to make a, it better? No, it's cool. It's like a pajama or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, used, I uh, used to wear pajamas a lot. Yeah? Yeah. What do you have mean? to perform. Well, like shorts, you're saying? Yeah. Check. I'll show you. Pajamas? Yeah. Like, like South Park pajamas? Like uh, Dragon Ball Z on the, on, the, <laughs> on the long pants? No? C'è sempre sta cazzo di pubblicità. Sei Sam. You don't pay for YouTube? No. That's a business expense, no? I don't pay for nothing. <laughs> you're, you're really a rapper. So that's it? When you perform? I was in Duomo. I mean, it's, it's, Mar- it's a button down. It's a Marnie's pajama. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Marnie pajama. It's not regular pajama. When I think of pajama, I think of old t shirt. With stain and like shorts that I don't wear outside. <laughs> Why not? Like they're shorts that aren't cool anymore. No, you're cool, you're cool, bro. So these are your pajamas. Yeah. And this is my best outfit. <laughs> It's Fashion Week in Milano. Tell us a little bit about what you're wearing today. Uh, Alex. Uh huh. Yeah. Bottega Veneta. Okay. Off white. Off white. Uh, Nike off white. Drip, drip. Swatch. I think you, you have know, my you know, life 10 times you know, over. You know, G-Shock. G-Shock. <laughs> That's not a G-Shock. <laughs> That's not a G-Shock. So how much is the whole fit right now? What, what's what? How much is this? Uh, $590. Yeah, yeah, like. That's more than I have in my bank account right now. No. No, <laughs> no but lying, $590 on a shirt is, is scary. You lying. What, me, the most I ever spent on a shirt was $250. And that's like crazy. This is a gift. Yeah? Yeah. For a gift. gift. Good gift. These pants, I don't know. Because huh? uh, Off-White gave me these pants. Oh, yeah. For, for Off-White's, shirt. the Italian art is super cool, Off-White, right? Like, all the, a lot of Italians wear Off-White. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the new collection is crazy. It's fire. Yeah, I, I love it. No, bro, so uh, I want to ask you, Lazza, how did you get the name Lazza? Yeah, because my surname is Lazzarini. Lazzarini, okay, cool. But you have like so many nicknames. You have, you say Zala and so on. Zala because, because we used to switch it. Switch the, the, come si dice syllabe? Syllables. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You switch it around. Because, yes, because of, uh, um, if you have to talk about something on the phone, you can say, yeah. because, because of police. Yeah, yeah. You used to. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, it's funny. Um, one time with Sveta, I was listening to the song Piove. Yeah. And I'm like, he was explaining to me that the meaning of that song. The meaning of is, Piove. Is for like when there's cops. The cops. You say, it's, oh, it's raining outside. Yeah. Right? It's, it's a slang. That's kind of fire. Once I heard that, I mean, the song Super Fire, your album Serio was insane. I think classic album. Every it's song hit. Cra- crazy numbers. Yeah. Yeah, the, the 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 thing is that we are, we are probably going to eight platinum. It's crazy, and even you did the album and piano serio concertos, so it's like you had a super platinum album. Then boom again. I played by myself, you know. No, you played the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire, bro. I didn't know you. You always played from when you were a kid, or yeah, did you learn? I, when I was like at ten, 
10 years old, I started studying piano. Now I do both. I rap yeah. and I play. Bro, that's fire. I didn't know... I, I saw you play, but I didn't know it was like what, the whole time. Yeah. You want me to show you? Yeah, yeah, show me. By the way, we're drinking that... Como se dice? Boom? Boom. Boom. Today, this guy announced that uh, AC Milan official sponsor. Congratulations to you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Ginger. It's, it's a big honor for me. So it's all ginger. It's ginger and I think vodka. Yeah? It's five o'clock somewhere. Um, you can put some gin. Yeah. I'm going to drink this. And put. <laughs> yeah. Was that your first introduction to music with the piano? Or you sing first? I don't know. I, I start to play first. Who, who introduced you? Your family? Uh, my grandpa. Yeah? It's crazy. Bro, what the fuck? He's going crazy. So, you produce too or no? Yes. A little bit? Yeah, Piove, it's mine. Oh, you, you produce that? Yeah, yeah. I produce that. It's fire. You know, I see you work a lot with Drillo too. Drillo, it's like my brother. Yeah. Uh, I met he DJs him. for you, right? Like when yeah, you perform? Yeah, he produces also for me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we met like uh, almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we was poor. Yeah, we, we only used to eat pasta in bianco, you know? Yeah. Because. Pasta e caso. Like pa pasta and cheese. Yeah, yeah. Like That's it. Pasta and olio and, and cheese. And uh, the, because it was the, um, the faster thing mm -hmm. to, to, to eat. Because we, we only wanted to work. Um, we did session like uh, 12, 12, year, 12 hours in a day. We used to stay in a studio like the whole day. Now we're here. Yeah, it's crazy. No, and I, you know, I met Drilo. And I, when I first met him, he said he played for Salerno. Yeah, it's yeah. It's crazy. He, he used to play soccer. Yeah. And then... Now what he's doing in music, I, I think he's the best producer in Italy right now. One of one, my favorite. One of the best. One of the one best. One of the best. One of the best. I mean, right now with his uh, album, he's doing yeah. big things. Yeah. And I feel musically, you guys have something special too. That you guys make hits. Oh, you yeah. and him. Only hits. Only hits. <laughs> right? It's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Bon Ton, Fire, right? One of the biggest songs this summer. Yeah, I think the biggest. Yeah, the biggest. You hear it everywhere you go. For me, I'm traveling, you hear it. You go to the beach, you hear it. You're in the car, you hear it. The I mean, fucking song is everywhere. So wait, where did you grow up in Milano? What neighborhood? Uh, I was born in, you know, near Piazzale Cuoco. It's uh, no. Zona 4 of Milan. Okay. And then uh, when I was 15, uh, I moved to near Lambrate. Then I live uh, near Moscova. How far is it from here, more or less? Uh, Moscova is like, I think, five minutes from here. Oh, five minutes? Yeah. So it's very close to the center of I was, Milan. I was having a shower like uh, 15 minutes ago. It's perfect then. <laughs> it's a perfect place to play. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's, cool. It's, cool. it's next to every day. So you started playing the piano when you were 10. When's the first time you make music? I was 12. 12. Yeah, you know... Um, a friend of mine who used to live in the, in the same area, no, no, in, in, in the mio palazzo. Oh, in the same building. Yeah, in the in the, in the same building, uh, came and asked me to to do freestyle. You know, uh, I didn't know what what was the freestyle, but I tried. And from then you, I started. You knew that's what you wanted to do. Yeah, uh, a day uh, I was uh, arguing with my mother. Cazzo si dice che sono scappato di casa. You left the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You ran, ran away, away. You ran away from the house. Yeah. I ran, I ran away and uh, I, I I did a freestyle battle and I won. It was the the, the first the first first uh, freestyle battle of my life. And and I won. I was 12. How many people were freestyle? Uh, I think we were like uh, 20 people. And it was like in piazza or something like. No, it's like it was like a club. And and I won. Fire, so I never stopped to do that. Did you go back home eventually or no? Yeah. <laughs> How long did you run away from home? No, like one day? Only, only that day. Only that day, okay. That's not that bad. 
There was a time maybe I ran away for home like three days. When I was like 16, <laughs> 17. Go? My girlfriend's house. Uh, but I was like, you know, mad at my dad. And I don't want to talk to him. So I just ran away, didn't answer the phone. But everybody has to do that at least once. Run away from home. I know, but I know, I know. For you, you found what you're really good at. Yeah, I found my future. Yeah. And what's special about you, I think you could be the most versatile artist in Italy. Melody and bars. I, th I think so. Because uh, that's my dream, you know. Uh, I'm always working to do that. Uh, like I'm, I'm always looking for something different in music, mm -hmm. you know. I'll give you, I'll give you my example to everybody that's listening. Ferrari, the Italian version, right? You go crazy on that. I love that. Porta song. Me it. I love that song, bro. That's and now it's it's crazy when I hear that song in the club. I say they gotta play the Italian Every, everybody version. Everybody go crazy for for that. Yeah, you know, in in my set of the show is the last song. That's the last one. Yeah, I I. I I, I used to troll the people because... Uh, you leave and then come back? And uh, more. more or less. I, well, I, when, when I go to an Italian concert, I hear... What do they say? They say, we don't take the last yeah. one. We don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I used, to, I used to, to tell people that Genere is the, is the last song of the show. Oh. But then I say, like, uh, can I be honest to the people? Yeah. And, and then I play the, the, the last song that is Ferrari. That reaction's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, insane. Tell us a little bit about Chenna there, because you were in San Remo, the biggest music festival in Italy yeah. by far, and hip hop was number two. Yeah, it's, it's not hip hop, but the, the, um, the attitude is hip hop. Exactly. But it's also not common. Like, hip hop in San Remo is not something you see. Yeah, I know because uh, I think it's it's difficult to bring hip hop in Sanremo. If I'm if I'm being honest, I think it, it, it was a risk. The song that came number one, I don't even know it. <laughs> I'll be honest. No, it's a good song. It's a good song. Marco, the the, the guy who huh? won the, uh, the the competition the last year, is a is a friend. He's a he's a cool guy. The song is it's it's very beautiful. How has your career changed from that whole experience of San Remo? Uh, I have a new new fan type, base, new type of fan base. You know, grandmothers, you know, yeah. families. That's awesome. Uh, little kids, people that buy records. You know, yeah, it's good. Mm. People that that ask pictures. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of pictures now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I know. Take, take my baby. Yeah, yeah, take my baby. <laughs> That's crazy. To take someone's baby is a lot. That's like, maybe I draw the line there. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, for me, it's scary because, you know, I have two kids. I know. And, and uh, they're seven and a half now. It's almost eight. And, Somebody uh, asked for a picture with, with, with their babies. They probably asked one here. How can you know me? Yeah. yeah. He's a big fan. Take my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? When that baby's 10 years old, yeah, Look, you have no, a picture with lots of legends. Now it's impossible. Yeah, now he's not a fan. No. You, you only. Uh, una, un anno. Solo un anno. How can you be my fan? Un anno. But when he's in the carriage, he goes like this to the music, <laughs> you know? We're very excited to announce a long term partnership with the Soto Gastronomia out from Australia. This guy's got a really, really interesting restaurant. The Soto has a very interesting story. So, they're first generation Italian Australians. They're basically us in Australia. The Soto was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. The Soto will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's gonna be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. Huh? I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. We're here at Hotel Zada. We've got the fanny pack here. I'm feeling very European. This is the perfect location if you're staying in Milano. The train's literally right there. I can see it. You're close to the center, and it's a great affordable pricing. Visit this website right here and book it today. Calandra's Bakery. Family owned since 1962. Luciana Calandra, Sicilian immigrant, started the bakery in 1962 in Newark, New Jersey. 
Passing it on to his grandkids. The third generation, bacon bread the old school way. Located in your nearest supermarket in New Jersey and New York. And don't forget to visit any of their three locations in New Jersey. Like, when you make music, do you have to have a certain mood for melodies and a certain mood for bars? Or it just comes to you with the beat? Uh, I... Uh... Come ti posso dire? Non like, what's your process to make music? Do you? It's, it's always you have it's always different. It's always different. What's your favorite way to work? When I when I start to 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 write something, I used to hear a lot of music, mm -hmm. uh, probably to take a reference. You know, uh, when I did, uh, for example, like Senza Rumore, uh, it's it, I think it's the best song of my you know, of my album. Used to hear a lot of Drake song like Passion Fruit. Yeah. Now I'm working with um, one of the guy who produced the um, Honestly Nevermind album. You know Rampa. Yeah. Yeah. He's a I, I don't know him, but I know that he's a friend. That music's like a vibe, like mm. Passion Fruit. Honestly Nevermind's all like Passion Fruit. That that way for me is one of the best ever. You like you like that album? Honestly Nevermind. Yeah. <whistles> really? For sure. I think I listened to it. There, there I, I wasn't a big fan. You know, in America, when he released that album, a lot of people were like, what is this? Because because it's strange. But, uh, you know, I, I, I was doing this. I was telling you the same thing uh, a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I think Drake, I, I, I don't know him personally, but I think he's always looking for, for something different. Me too. Yeah. And, and that wave is different. Very different, yeah. And I love that album. I have the, the CD. Uh, you have it too? Yeah, well, I'm a big fan. Yeah? yeah. No, it, it's crazy because he did get criticized a lot. I mean, especially by my group of friends. You, you know, when, when he dropped, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Fire. That's yeah, my that, favorite album. Yeah, that album changed my life. And what, in which way? Uh, because uh, it, it was super rap. Yeah, super, that's, super, that super. was, that, to me, that's my favorite album. Has. You know, I, uh, when I start working with, uh, with uh, Ignazio Slight, my manager. Uh -huh. uh, shout out to Ignazio, shout out to Marino for setting this all up, by the way. The boys are here. Uh, the, the, fir the first thing that we dropped was something in that wave. Uh, I did like a freestyle and, and it was like uh, in that wave. And uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Yeah show you yeah man and like i said we're some he my friend right here lopeg is one of the biggest drake fans in the world we're uh waiting for the album where, where do you rank uh, honestly never mind is it last no nah, i wouldn't oh, say oh. it's last but... uh, look at the drake tattoo that's fire Jeez. that's fire bro that's fire that style is cool <laughs> Was fucking in love with that way. Oh shit, bro. Six years ago? Che forte era sta roba. Not too much, not too much. <laughs> we we got to put this yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, bro. So <laughs> you changed a lot from yeah. from that that clip there. I see you grow. You grown a lot. When uh, I look older than now in this video, you see. Yeah. <laughs> now you look younger. Yeah. When I tell people that that I'm uh, I'm almost thirty years old. Oh, well, you're young, bro. Possible. And you've been you in the game 20. so long. You've been you in the game 20. so long, too. <laughs> like Benjamin Button, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have the Fountain of Youth. You know, how do you say Fountain of Youth in Italian? Yeah. Uh, Fondana de... Jo I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You have... Is, canzone, is this... C'è una canzone di Rick Ross che si chiama Fountain of Youth. Avevo usato il beat io, tra l'altro. Bellissimo. You know the... the you did a song with Rick Ross? No. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, he has... No, not yet. Yeah, he has a song with... um. It's called Found a Youth. I forget what album that what, is. Yeah, that sounds so Ross, I think Wale and, and Drake probably. Yeah, that song's fire. Uh, uh, I think it was with, was that the one with Nipsey Hussle? No, it was Wale. 
I think it was a uh, MMG album. Yes. It was Stanley. Yeah. Needs the ass on every cross. Yep. Yeah, that song's fire. Who are some of your favorite American artists? Tory Lanez. To- Yo, I, I didn't want to <laughs> say it without you saying it, but whenever I explain you to somebody, I say you're the Italian Tory Lanez. Free Tory. Free Tory. Free Tory. <laughs> free Tory. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I that one hurts. Speak, that I, one hurts. I, I used to speak with his cousin because mm-hmm. I uh, I asked about, about how he's story. doing. Yeah. yeah. How did that feature happen? Uh, uh, I texted him on on Instagram mm-hmm. a lot of times, a lot of times, and then uh, he answered a day. He answered me, and we we spoke about uh, to do the feature, and we did it. As the song's fire too, and French Montana was on Serio too. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, there's a friend of mine who helped me to to do the, the collaboration, and uh, I remember this uh, a day I was uh, I was going to to change the the tires of my car, and uh, this friend of mine uh, called me on Facetime and asked me French. It's fire. Yeah, he, he, he was in Kanye's studio. Kanye, Kanye's studio? Oh, it's fire. And he told me the, the, the song was fire, and he told me in two days uh, I, I can send you the verse. In two days the verse came. Yeah. Tell us a little yeah, bit. Yeah. You're, you're going to America now, the boys told me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going next month. Is it your first time going? Yes. Wow. Where, where are you going in America? Uh, New York. Okay. Uh, LA. So he'll be with me? Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. L.A., New York, L.A., um, Miami. Miami. I, I I wanna I wanna see Las Vegas probably for one if, day if we have time. One day is enough. Yeah, to 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 lose the <laughs> to to lose the key of my car. Yeah, you you <laughs> like to gamble? <laughs> no, no. I got video of that. See, you play to jokare no? Die no? Not much. So, sometimes only for fun. Yeah, it's not fun though. Yeah, no. When you lose, it's not fun. I know. I hate Las Vegas for that reason because it's like old desert and then casino. It's all casino. I, w- I want to go. Yeah, you go- listen. If you're there, you gotta go. And from LA to go Vegas, let's go. Come with me. Yeah, let's go. Because you press something, you press this. No, 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 no. I watch you play. <laughs> Maybe you give me a hundred dollars. You know, black or red? <laughs> I give you back as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hate to lose money. I'm a sore loser. You know, like betting on uh, football. Like, I don't like to lose money. Me too. I'm a sore loser. You know, sore loser, like, when someone doesn't like to lose, you know? Like, I get so mad. I think everybody's like that. Some people don't nobody, care. Nobody likes to lose. That's true. But tell us a little bit about uh, this this project now, because uh, today was a big day. You announced your partnership. Yeah, co- yeah partnership with uh, AC Milan is my is my team, and um, we dropped this drink with uh, Fedez. He's another singer, yeah, famous singer Italian, and uh, Leonardo Maria del Vecchio. You know, no, uh, I know Fedez. I know. I always see. He's the owner of Luxottica. Okay. I always see you. I always see you and Feather is like in the picture, you know. Yeah. I see you yeah, big, big promotion. We, yeah, we we pushing this a lot. Yeah. And uh, is the first uh, seltzer in uh, in Italy. È la è la bibita con meno calorie sul sul mercato e ha lo stesso grado alcolico di una birra. No, it's it's good too. I'm not just saying it because you're here. <laughs> it's actually good. You can and, you and can mix with gin or with vodka to make it stronger. Yeah. To, to change the, the, the flavor. How did how did this happen? The partnership, come è successo? Con Milan, eh? Yeah, no, con, con Fedez prima, po... Uh, I think Fedez is a, is a... It's one of the biggest uh, businessmen uh, that we have now. And uh, he asked me to do this with him. It's amazing. You know, uh, I, I, I love to be exclusive life in music and and this is exclusive because no, nobody has a drink like this here in Italy. No, I don't know anybody that that's doing that. 
But so, so we're the first. What I what I said to Marino today, I said make sure you bring some, because in America on podcast, all you see is drinks. You know, everybody in America with a big podcast, they have a drink sponsor. I know. So in in Italy, you don't see it too much. I know. In in, in Italy, it's the first time, and it's amazing for you because you're performing for all these people, and how you can promote your own drink. It's like paying yourself, you know. It's, like it's cool. It's cool. Now in uh, uh, I'm scared. I'm scared because uh, uh, we're doing the partnership with Milan, mm -hmm. so people from other team probably won't buy this because. Yeah, but you're doing something with someone you like Milan. You look. By the way, I should say I'm an Inter fan. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> I, that's why I waited so late to say it because I was right. But uh, yeah. you, you're an Inter fan too, no? Uh, no, but um, how'd you become a Milan fan? Uh, I was a kid. Like, who was your favorite player growing up? Probably Shevchenko. Shevchenko is fire, yeah. Kaka, Kaka, Kaka Pirlo. Shevchenko, Pirlo. Pirlo is a friend. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, he played in New York for like one year. Yeah, really? Think. At the end of his career, he played one year. I, I met Pirlo like uh, two months ago. Uh, I was I was uh, uh, going back home from the studio, and uh, I stopped to um, like a kiosk, no, uh, the panini, mm -hmm. because <coughs> I was hungry. And uh, I met Pirlo and Ambrosini. Fire. Yeah. And were, they were just eating a panino? No, no, no. They, they, um, they saw me and they start uh, singing Cenere. You know? <laughs> That's that San Remo effect right there. And, and, and we, we ate the panino together. Mm -hmm. wow. How was Pirlo in person? <laughs> like he's a god, it's, right? It's, it's funny. Yeah? It's funny. Because I, when I see Pirlo, I always think he's like a very serious guy, you know? Yes, but it's, it's also funny. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it was strange for me to, to yeah. meet him in, there in that situation. You know? He's a legend because when he left Milan, he kind of had like a second boost with Juve. You know? Like when he played with Milan, they won all the Champions Leagues with Maldini. And then he went to Juventus. It's like he still was amazing even at 40 years old. Crazy. He's a, I think he's one of the most important soccer players. In Italy. Him and Buffon. Sure. Yeah, I would rank them too. What um what else we got, Pig? What I got a fun question if I may. Yeah, yeah. So this podcast, obviously we're in, we're here interviewing Italian artists, so Italians are gonna listen, but most of our listeners are Americans, right? So what do you think of when you when you think of Americans or Italian Americans, what's the first things that come to your head? Sabino. <laughs> <laughs> no, that should be like number five. <laughs> Maybe. What about in movies? Like, you watch Italian American movies, like the mafia movies. Yeah, know? The Godfather, Carlitos Way. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of movies, you know. Uh, Bronx Tale? You see Bronx Tale or no? I saw Bronx. The, the Bro movie. Bronx Tale. It's like Sunny. I see chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why over here it's called Bronx? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes in Italy they have a different name. Yeah. Quite solo Bronx. In Italian yeah, it's solo Bronx. Yeah. Really? And good good fellas? Chat, we bravi ragazzi. Yeah, yeah. Where we live in uh New York? I was I was uh, um, talking about good fellas uh, on the phone with a friend like mm -hmm. uh, one hour ago. Uh, you know the um, non mi ricordo se era, era Goodfellas la scena, quella mi trovi buffo. Yeah. Yeah, say, uh, in, in Italia we say mi trovi buffo, he's asking to another guy if he's laughing about, about him. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, well, you know the scene? You laugh at oh, Joe Pesci. Yeah. yeah, Joe Pesci. Yeah. What the fuck is so funny, you know? Yeah, yeah. What makes it funny? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, in your song, Uscito di Galera, you make the line about Jenny. Jenny yeah, yeah. Morra. Yeah. yeah. That line's fire. Yeah, you know. Explain to our followers what what, uh, what you say on that song because you say, um, like, I'm going to 
have sex with yeah, you? Like, I just got like, out of jail. Yeah, because, you know, in jail, you, you can't. Yeah. So, uh, it was like a metaphor. Yeah, a metaphor. A metaphor. Uh, I was saying that I want, I want to fuck you like... Uh, I just got out of jail. Bro, I'm telling you, that your your album was instant classic to me. Uh, you you read the translation of yeah, the song? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> that's the only way. That's the only way. That's the only way. You know, when I, when, I, when I met Post Malone in Rome... Uh, he has the, he had the same reaction because yeah. um, I did party with him that night, and he told me come to the hotel. No, and I was in this in this uh, suite with a lot of people, and then um, Post he told all the people to shut up because uh, he wants to hear my album, and he likes so much the vibe, but uh, uh, he wasn't understand what what, uh, what I was you're saying. saying. And then uh, asked me to translate, and 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 when I show him the the translation, his reaction was crazy. Insane. No, the bars are crazy, bro. You know, but for me, you know, my Italian's so so. So to pick up a lot, I translate the songs. You know what I mean? I do the same with with, uh, with English. With Amer- yes, it's also, the easiest way to also learn. with French or with German. You Spanish. speak French. No, no, no. Uh, oh, you'd like to know what they're talking yeah. about. I'm a big fan of, of uh, French rap. Yeah. If you weren't singing, what would you be doing, you think? I don't know. Probably something bad. Yeah? <laughs> What's next for you in your career? Uh, I want to... I'm, I'm, I'm working on my new album. My dream is to do something international. You know, I'm coming to the States because I have a lot of people to, to meet. To link with, yeah. Uh, I met Skrillex when he came here. Crazy. And uh, I hope to work with him. We became I friends. see you love a Carnage too. Right, you always with Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Gordon. Gordon. Uh, he's, he's like my, my uncle. No. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a perfect fit for you too. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Now he's super cool. And I I don't like a lot that house music by him. No, no, I, lo- I like I like Yeah, you lot. like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, I like techno a lot. Really? Yeah, techno and in, in the disco, like the clubs, all you hear is techno. No, in the clubs, but sometimes I used to wear like when I'm driving. But so when you drive, you prefer techno first? No. I don't know. I I I don't know what I prefer. You listen to everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's I pretty much me. I say I have the most versatile. I listen to country music you know, sometimes. When, when, when I when I'm driving, I used to hear Future a lot. Yeah. Or Offset. They, they're my favorite one. Yeah. You, no. know, to, you know, Tory Lanez is like God. Yeah. But uh, I don't know why. But uh, if I'm driving, I I, um, I used to hear a lot of Future. Yeah. Uh, is it, Offset the best Migo? Uh, for me, yes. Same. You know, my graphic designer is is the Migos graphic designer. Really? He did all the the, um, the artworks for for culture, mm-hmm. and he's a big friend of Cuevo. I like. I think Cuevo's the best Migo. Yeah. Why? I, he's uh, his melodies, like his hooks, yeah, super but, catchy. Offset's yeah, the off, better off, rapper. Offset, offset. Offset's a better rapper. But I wish they would. I wish they would work more together. You know. But Offset spends a lot of time in New York now because yeah, of Cardi. Uh, yeah, she, he's in New York a lot. There. Yeah. I mean, I think they still have a place like Westchester. I think I will ask my graphic designer to link us. Yeah, that would be cool. Who's your dream feature? Or who, who, who are the people you want to work with next? Jay-Z. Jay-Z would be fire. He should have. That, that's the answer I want to hear. No Italian artist ever worked with Jay-Z, right? No, Italian asked this spoke with Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an email. <laughs> no, no, it's impossible. Uh, I want to thank you for your time. I really appreciate you coming here. And, uh, and see you in New York. Yeah, I'll see you in New York. And Miami and Vegas and LA. Wow. Want to stay with me? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's Why do not? it. It'll be fun. We go gamble with your money. No. <laughs>